It's okay. We are talking the suppression of Hannah Stevenson, which is also known as The Exorcism of Hannah Stevenson, written and directed by Jason Parker. The suppression of Hannah Stevenson is probably more of an apt name, although this is really less of an exorcism movie. Now, the film focuses on a young couple as they are going abroad on a vacation. Uh, the girl is somewhat of an introvert, and the, the boyfriend kind of wants her to kind of be a bit more um, expressive sexually, so we might say. And so, because she's kind of feeling a little bit sort of under the pressure to be, to be a bit more experimental when we're in the bedroom, she agrees to take this kind of potion from this kind of local medicine woman, uh, which has unintended consequences, making her like almost look like someone that's kind of possessed but kind of act like feral is the best way i would describe it then we have a group of other kind of individuals local people around this kind of european country uh who may have their own agendas now what will happen you have to watch the movie and find out so let's discuss this movie okay so what do we like about the exorcism of hannah stevenson uh it's a low budget movie um I will say this, the, the story, although I do have some problems with it, and I'll come on to it, it, it plays a little differently to a lot of this films in its ilk, if that makes sense. This is kind of more of a um, what are people's intentions kind of story. Because we have a variety of different kind of factions within this kind of film. We have the boyfriend, we have this kind of local guy who seems somewhat antagonistic, but may well he's kind of offering help. We kind of have this local kind of witch who also seems somewhat antagonistic, but is kind of offering help, but is odd, odds with the kind of the, uh, this local guy. We have this guy that kind of lives in this woods, and we have this woman who works at this kind of lo like local lingerie shop, and all of whom seem, they know more than they kind of letting on, if that makes sense. So it's like, who do you trust? There's all these kind of people that all seem to be somewhat kind of at odds with one another to a certain degree, um, seemingly to offer help, but also kind of being a little bit kind of difficult at the same time, or a little bit vague in their kind of advice and things like this. So I think the movie has this kind of interesting kind of through line where you as the kind of the, the POV character, you know, the, the boyfriend, doesn't really know who to kind of trust and he's kind of like just taking people out their kind of word and, and kind of going along with what they say but they they obviously have their own kind of agendas which makes it quite an interesting uh kind of like plot line in a way because you don't really know what people are actually kind of up to there is a downside to this which i'll kind of talk to, talk about in a minute uh but nonetheless i did think it was an interesting kind of uh, you know plot line for this kind of movie uh, the actual kind of possession side of it or, or, is, is interesting because it's she's not really possessed. It's not really an exorcism movie, to be honest with you. She kind of looks like it. The makeup is done like, you know, white, you know, eyes kind of all veiny and kind of pale and stuff like that. So she does look very much like your kind of typical kind of possessed victim that you see in exorcism films. But she's just kind of like under the influence of some type of... of you know, mystic potion, basically. It is, it's kind of acting more like a kind of feral animal than anything else. Um, so it's, an, it's kind of a, a little, little bit of a different kind of situation to deal with. Now, that all might sound good, but there are some problems with this, because I feel the, the story has some interesting story elements, but they're not particularly kind of well fleshed out. Um, but I will say the kind of the... Things like, obviously it's a low budget movie, the, the makeup effect was quite good. I kind of quite like the fact that it, it, it takes place in this kind of like European town, uh, which we don't know where it's from to be honest with you, but although everyone, all the locals speak English to each other, which obviously kind of like shatters the uh, illusion somewhat, to be honest with you. Um, and I, I actually kind of quite like the kind of the, the casting of some of these kind of locals as well. I think they could have quite well cast a kind of look you know, uh, Eastern European in some certain degrees. I kind of quite like that kind of look. And for, you know, for a, a uh, uh, you know, I think it's the first time sort of director, it's not a badly shot film in, in, a, in a lot of ways. 
But let me just get, go back to maybe what doesn't work here. I think these story elements has, have some good ideas. But to be honest with you, I was a little kind of like perplexed about what was actually kind of going on. Um, l let me just take a couple of things without kind of really going into spoilers. So we have this kind of young girl who is an introvert who kind of wants to try and... Uh, be more of an extrovert for her kind of boyfriend to kind of please him sexually. So to try and get her confidence up, she randomly drinks a potion from a stranger. Do you know who would have done the job? Vodka. That would have done just as much good a job. I don't understand why anyone would drink some random black liquid that is given to you by a, like some, like, Romany gypsy kind of type person that you've never really talked to before rather than just having a couple of drinks It doesn't really make any sense the, the again the writing here because this was written directed produced by the same person There's no one to push back on some of these kind of ideas. That I think don't work particularly well for example If she were to become kind of cursed, which is ultimately kind of what happens Maybe they could have thought oh, you know wear this amulet or kind of it gives you kind of something like that where you you know who's going to drink some like dodgy kind of black liquid in a little vial rather than going just have a you know a couple of shots of vodka or something to kind of get you kind of get your uh, uh you know your confidence up it doesn't really make any sense so some of these things haven't been kind of thought through and as the kind of the film progresses you don't really know why these people are kind of i mean we have all these kind of like different kind of like uh, either individuals or small kind of like groups of people that seem to have some type of interest in, in Hannah, but we don't really know why. I mean, we, we kind of like, we're given little kind of crumbs here and there about, oh, there's something that's kind of gone on in the past and stuff, but I feel the movie doesn't do a good enough job of, of kind of like defining the narrative or kind of like making people's kind of motivations kind of clear about why it is they're kind of doing certain things and how much they actually know and, and, and stuff like this. I think some some of the strengths of the movie were actually kind of, um, because one of the strengths of the movie for me was you don't really know the kind of like who has ill intention and who has kind of more of a positive intention. But I don't know if that was necessarily on purpose. I just think it's the way the movie's turned out. Um, rather than, I just think it's ultimately down to somewhat of a poor writing, to be honest with you. And again, I'll come back to the fact that um, the, the problem is, is when you have a singular vision, especially someone who has uh, not a huge amount of experience, there's no one to kind of push back on these ideas and say, well, you know, hang on a second, narratively, does this make sense? This is why you have producers on the movie, and I feel this movie um, suffers because it's just like, this is one guy without kind of any kind of like, uh, feedback from anyone else what he wants to, to say but when you're going in, into this cold it's like ah, it doesn't really kind of make a lot of sense here so I feel the narrative here is is a little bit convoluted and, 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 and uh, a mixed because you don't really know why people are kind of doing things and, and, and you know what they're actually after it doesn't really make a, a hell of a lot of sense if you ask me um, the acting themselves uh, I have to say from our two sort of lead characters feels a little awkward to be honest with you i know the woman's supposed to be somewhat of an introvert so i can kind of be a little bit more forgiving with her because she does seem awkward but it it, it kind of just looks like unconfident acting to be honest with you people just seem a little bit unconfident kind of emoting and kind of doing these roles it seems like uh, just awkwardness on screen at the end of the day it is a low budget movie um but you know it, it's kind of like a little bit kind of stilted unfortunately so how it kind of comes across uh so it doesn't feel particularly kind of natural when we have these kind of characters kind of reacting to things especially uh, the bloke i have to say so the girl has this storyline where she's meant to be introvert so i can kind of be a bit more forgiving with that but nonetheless it's there um in, in a way it didn't really see the point of having this kind of this 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 kind of horror element to it in, in some ways i mean this girl ultimately what happens is she kind of gets drugged and, and goes, goes out of control I don't know if it needed having all this kind of horror makeup. It actually doesn't seem... There's no real reason for it, uh, to be honest. It could have just been this this girl who's taken some drugs and she just kind of goes off the deep end. I think, and you would have had exactly the kind of the same storyline. This whole, like, why has her eyes all gone, all gone white? It's kind of just to make it loop it into a horror film when they really there's not really actually any horror elements out of it. It's a, a girl who's taken some mystery kind of liquid, gone crazy, and certain people know certain things. It didn't need to have this kind of 
odd supernatural element that seems at odds, to be honest with you, with the actual plot of the movie. Um, so it isn't really a horror film, it just has this kind of veneer of horror aesthetic on it, whilst the actual plot is more of a crime thriller than anything else, I suppose. So it's an odd movie and uh, a little poorly judged, I have to say. Um, it's interesting, has some interesting ideas, albeit I think some of these ideas may have been a happy accident, but it doesn't really flow together as a, a particularly kind of uh, well thought out narrative. So I'm gonna give this one a three out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.